Hi all, Doug here. This next tool I'm working on requires a graduated dial. And um, the tool I'm working on is called a tailstock taper turning attachment. It uh, works basically just like a boring head on a milling machine, you know, with a graduated dial and a dovetail slide. And, uh, well, this is the same thing. And instead of holding a boring bar, this one has a live center. And uh, you move the center off center, the live center off center, excuse me, uh, however many thousandths of an inch you want to cut the taper you're looking for. Um, this dial here, uh, one complete revolution on this dial will equal 50 thousandths of an inch. So that would be 50 graduations around the circumference of the dial. Well, I want a little finer adjustment, so I put 100 graduations around the dial. And so meaning each one of these graduations will be a half a thousandths of an inch. Now, I've already engraved all the graduations, but I'm going to show you just a couple here how I've done it. And let's see, I'll pick up a major mark. Now, the major marks... That's where the numbers will be stamped. And, um, and of course, we had the ones in between the numbers, you know. But anyway, the, the major mark is a quarter of an inch long. And I have the digital readout set for zero at the face of the dial the, and the beginning of the engraving tool. So we'll move in here 250, 248, and that's close enough, and back off. Now we're using a 20 hole plate and the machinist handbook tells me that to get a hundred divisions and the circumference on this dial it's 8 twentieths of a hole. So we'll move 8, click it around here. Now this is a half a thousandths mark. Now this half a thousandths mark is only one eighth of an inch long. And 26, that's close. And move 8 twentieths more. And this, and this mark is three sixteenths of an inch of an inch long, the full one thousandths mark. Go in here, one sixty eighty seven. Back off, and go around again. And there is the minor mark, which is this is a half a thousandths mark, one hundred twenty five. 24. Anyway, and that's how that done. And just keep going and going, you know, until you get all the graduations engraved around the dial. So now we're ready to take this unit off the milling machine table and take it to the table. And we'll set up the, uh, the stamping fixture, which mounts on top of here in these two holes. And it holds the letter stamps perpendicular to the dial there. And um, when I get that set up, I'll make another little video of stamping the dial. Thanks for looking.